honey welcome back if you're new here subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification girl this if you want to be notified you don't have to okay jeez <laughs> then come back and see me though okay so y'all all right guys so this is <laughs> me after the nightless box brace so what did i do with my hair I don't know if it's necessary to talk about what I did with my hair after I took down my knotless box braids because I have a lot of content that I need to edit and get out to you guys so that you'll see. And I don't have to talk about it in each video because y'all gonna come back and see me and then y'all just click what you wanna know. Isn't that the way this works? Okay. <laughs> I stretched my hair out. I blow dry my hair with my Revlon One Step Blow Dryer. You guys know that I use that. If you haven't seen my previous videos, now you know I use the Revlon One Step Blow Dryer. Hang on one second, because I just so happen to have it right down here. So this is what I use to blow out my hair. They not sponsoring me or anything, therefore we not fixing to get into that. Anyway. I use the Revlon One Step hair dryer styler to blow out my hair. And I used it on the cool setting so my hair was really big and fluffy and pretty. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to do an updated DIY parting video where I'm gonna be sectioning my hair for a chunky protective style. So I really would like to try some passion twists I was sent this hair months ago and didn't install it, so I want to do me some chunky passion twists and see what that looks like. I really haven't been a fan of passion twists only because I felt like I wouldn't be able to keep them up long, but the hair that I have that I'm going to be using for this install, I'm really excited about it because it's very dense and it feels like the fibers are really strong, so I feel like that is going to be less likely to unravel or just give me any difficulties with the installation because it's so silky. This hair isn't real silky like the hair that I would have used, which would have been one of those beautiful probably Harlem 125 or 125 Kima hairs or is it Kima hmm, probably Kima K-I-M-A I don't know no okay so I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down and section it for some chunky some sort of chunky protective style so it doesn't have to be passion twist for you you can choose to do whatever it is that you'd like to do of course you can do some large box braids or some large knotless box braids I will be trying the knotless box braids again, y'all. So I'll be teaching myself again through my own video. <laughs> See how I did that? Listen, yo, I'm just going to say it. You have to make your own history. So whatever it is that you're good at or something that you want to document, document it. Because this is the time, you know. In order to maintain the truth, we have to speak it, live it, be an example of it. So I'm just saying off my soapbox and onto my hair. Okay. I'm having way too much fun here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this down and then I'm gonna give you a good look at what my hair looks like. I've been rocking this prop. This is just like the second day. Um, I wore my hair. <laughs> I wore my hair like this to the dentist. It's just a lot, y'all, to do something to my hair every day. So I like to do something to where it's easy. I can wake up, get myself together, and don't have to worry about this mane, okay? I'm just saying. All right, y'all. So I'm going to take this down, let you see my hair. Then I'm going to get to sectioning it. It's This video is going to be a little different from the DIY parting one from my first DIY parting one-on-one video because if I'm not mistaken, my hair was really damp in that video. And this one, it, my hair is gonna be stretched out and I'm going to be re-moisturizing with a water bottle as needed in order to make this a lot easier on my hair as well as giving my hair what it needs, you know? Because this might be dry now. All right, y'all, I'm gonna see you in a little bit. Now 
no hair. Y'all know I said in a video before, I don't believe that rubber bands break your hair off. If you moisturize your rubber band and install it properly, cut it if you need to, if it's been in your hair too long, but the rubber band does not have to be the reason that your hair breaks off. More than likely, your hair is not properly moisturized and that moisture hasn't been sealed in. Therefore, that hair is brittle and it is susceptible to breaking off, susceptible to splitting, Further up the shaft, if you already have split ends, you just have to take care of your hair and give your hair what it needs while you are in a style and in between style. Right? Okay, let me take this one off. because. So this is just a really good example of stretching the hair with rubber bands if you wanted to, or some sort of banding method. This was not the one where bands are all the are on each section of your hair there's no need for me to do that because my hair was blow dried before i did this i did this style because i was going to the dentist and i didn't want to have band two knots all over my head from set pre-sectioning my hair and really recording some for this video so i wanted my head to be flat on the chair and not sticking up from the band two knots i wanted to be comfortable this is my hair and as you can see i said before that i had a lot of demarcation this hair that is much thinner than the rest is still very healthy hair like it's so healthy like i just coiled the end of it and i did snip the end like yesterday or whenever i did this style and my ends are so healthy i don't really want to cut it like i wanted to cut it but in order for me to get a really nice cut like i wanted to do i would have had to straighten my hair as well and i really i'm just not ready to do that i haven't put any heat on my hair yet this year yay it's march it's like march the 13th it is it's march the 13th and i haven't had any heat on my hair yet this year but I did say that I was going to put heat on it one more time so that I could get a nice trim. So I do still plan to do that. I just haven't, I haven't had time right now. This is what I'll be working with for my DIY parting video. So I'm just going to get right to it. There is not going to be a lot of talking. You guys can see what I'm going to be doing. And it's nothing that's just different. My hair is just in a different state. I do want to say that my hair is in a stronger state. My hair doesn't feel as soft as it did in the first DIY parting video. But that is because I just recently did a protein treatment. And anytime I take my hair out of a protective style that has been up for several weeks, I always give myself a protein treatment as well as a deep conditioning treatment just so that I can make sure that I have that good balance of strength and moisture. But yes, look at my hair, y'all. Like, doesn't it just look fuller? Fuller. This is the left side of my head, which is my problem area. And this is what we're looking like. Let's compare it to the right side. Definitely fuller. It's time to get to it. Where's my water bottle? Where's my water bottle? I see you, child. Look at that.
Okay, so after each time that I part my hair, I get my personal mirror and I look at it and then I go and I straighten it up. So you will not see me straightening the parts on this video, but just, just know I get it straight in the bathroom with the mirror. Okay.
This is so cute. <laughs> okay, so once I got done sectioning my hair, I did go ahead and oil my scalp with some of the Kaleidoscope Miracle Drops. And there we are. And again, of course, just like last time, I'm going to install a protective style over these little ponytails. Last time, it was just individual twists. This time, we have the rubber bands on all and not just the two in the front. So let me go ahead and give you a 360. Okay guys, that is it. And just like last time, I'm going to close this video out with a cute little ponytail. And then, y'all will see me next time in my next video. Thanks for watching. Peace, love, and a whole lot of light.